Okay, so let's carry on now in this video, a bit of a arguably unusual video. What I want to do is just quickly take a, a, a quick time out to flag up something that really is important. And I've already seen some wonderful members here uh, in this community not get scammed, but certainly be approached by scams. So this is really important what I'm going through in this video. Uh, what I want to do is quickly give you the heads up on some sadly ever increasing uh, scams online, particularly when it comes to anything uh, crypto, because a lot of scammers know that crypto is relatively new to most people. So they kind of prey on that kind of, you know, beginners, for want of a better word, mindset. Now, here's the thing. Most of the scams start as unsolicited personal messages uh, that you will receive if you use Telegram. Now, what is Telegram? You might use Telegram. Telegram is essentially a social media forum. Most cryptocurrencies have their own Telegram group. At emp.money, for example, you can join their Telegram group and there's a whole community of people. That's where they all uh, communicate and ask questions. Let me show you what Telegram looks like. Okay, so here I am in my uh, Telegram group, and you can see at the top here, I'm in the emp.money Telegram group. Now, firstly, there are lots of fake Telegram groups, so always make sure you are joining the correct group. How do you know? Well, the best way is to go to the website of whatever it is that you want to join, and most of those websites, particularly in the crypto world, will have a link to Telegram from the website. Uh, so make sure you're in the, in the correct group. And also, I'm just going to scroll down here. On the left hand, these are various groups and messages I've had from people I know and friends. But just want to quickly flag up uh, here. You can see there's a message from Pamela saying hello. Also a message from Jody saying hello. I can guarantee these are both scams. They're, you know, girls that are approaching me to say hi. And um, as the conversation would continue, I haven't even engaged with any of them, uh, it would eventually turn into some sort of scam. So how does that scam work? I'm going to show you that in a few moments time. But first up, if you're in Telegram, uh, my golden piece of advice for you is never reply to unsolicited direct messages. So let's look at this a little bit more. So how do most of these scams work? Well, as I've just said, most of these scams work uh, in the form of an unsolicited private message on Telegram. And uh, here's where it can get a little bit, you know, they, they can be quite clever because if you've asked a question publicly in a forum in Telegram asking about something, you may then get a private message that's saying, hey, I can help you. I saw what you asked publicly. That's how a lot of scammers work. They see you ask a public question and then approach you saying they're going to help. And, you know, we're all mostly trusting individuals. Why would we not think that's a legitimate, you know, uh, somebody just being a nice person and offering to help? Well, they're not. Ignore anybody that essentially contacts you, even if they say they're responding to something that you posted publicly. Let me show you a few examples of what scams can look like. And I've had lots of them. And if you get involved in Telegram, you probably will as well. So here's a message. Uh, this is taken a screenshot from a Telegram. And uh, you can see it's from admin, in inverted commas. And it says, hello, investor. Uh, we're really sorry for the inconvenience caused. So this is in reference to whatever it is you posted. And then look, due to the valley.dating error on your account, which needs to be fixed, there's a recent improvement. That doesn't even mean anything. They're trying to bamboozle you with language, preying on the fact that, you know, everybody is relatively, in inverted commas, new. It then says you need to rectify your wallet now to help fix the issue immediately. So, you know, it sounds like it's almost sort of legitimate, doesn't it? Oh, there's this thing that needs to be fixed. And then um, this actually isn't from me. This is from a friend of mine. A friend of mine replied, how do I do that? And then can you see here that they've sent a link that you need to click on? And they say here, click on the link with your mobile phone or your computer. Now, never click on any link in any message that you get sent because essentially what this is allowing somebody to do is to, to control your computer, control or they can use your mouse and they can get to your MetaMask and send funds. That's basically how the scam works. And even the link itself looks a bit funky. You know, web3dexconnect.com just sounds a little bit suspect, doesn't it? But again, I just want to flag this up because um, it's easy to fall victim to these, particularly if you have asked a question. And some of the scammers will, you know, will answer your, start to answer your question for you. So you think they're being super helpful. So basically, the headline is never click on anything that looks suspicious. If you're unsure, ask me. I've got your back. So is everybody else here in this community. So ask here. And remember the golden rule number three. Remember we talked about the golden rules at the beginning of this, of this uh, week, week four. Can you remember what golden rule number three was? What was golden rule number 
number three. Number one was don't be emotional, wasn't it? Number two was be patient. What was golden rule number three? Golden rule number three was don't play games you don't understand. This is so important. That's why I made it a golden rule. If you don't really understand what you're doing, you don't really understand what you're clicking on, don't click on it. Don't be pressured, peer pressured into doing it. Don't play games you don't understand. This has always served me well in life. And when I haven't stuck to this rule, things have always got a little bit funky and a little bit tricky. It's like, oh man, I didn't really understand what I was doing and I knew it and then it kind of didn't really work. So don't play games you don't understand. Let me show you a few quick more, uh, a few more quick screenshots, then we'll wrap up this video. Here's another one. Um, and you can see here they're saying, you are submitting to an artificial intelligence robot with zero human interfer interference. Uh, as a community customer service admin, we have no backdoor system to where your assets can be accessed or spied upon. See that here? This is absolutely not true. They're trying to, again, say the right thing. Say, look, we don't have any access to your MetaMask. We just want to help you here. No, if you click on that link, they will be able to control your computer. It's not that they can control your MetaMask. It's that they can get access to your computer and they know, they know what you're doing. If your MetaMask is unlocked which is what we talked about back in the pre-training, the importance of, you know, your security. If your MetaMask is unlocked and somebody knows what they're doing, they can go into your MetaMask, look at your assets, click send, send it to their address, and it's gone. And you can't, you can't get it back. Um, also, let me quickly flag this up as well. This is a, another screenshot from a, another friend of mine. Uh, so these are all legitimate screenshots from a scammer. Uh, you might notice here, look, the scammer actually called the person. So there's a bit of kind of peer pressure as well and that's quite intimidating isn't it particularly if you're kind of new to this crypto thing and you get a call from somebody and most of these are from call centers uh and their whole business is scamming people there's some amazing youtube videos about there's a thing called scam the scammers it's very addictive be warned you'll be there for hours watching them where there are really good humans and Basically, they make it their mission to scam the scammers, real technical wizards that scam people that are scamming other people to kind of get them back. Because scammers can really affect you emotionally, not just financially. Uh, and they can be really, their language is really rude. When they know that you're not playing ball, their language is terrible and they don't care how old you are or, or anything. They'll really use terrible, terrible language to intimidate you. So, you know, this person even called. So, again... We don't want to even engage with them at all. Uh, one other quick thing to share with you as well. This is a screenshot. Remember me telling you there's fake Telegram groups. This is a screenshot from a fake Telegram group for EMP. And it says here, uh, there's a free airdrop. Now, an airdrop means that, an airdrop's are legitimate, but airdrops mean where cryptocurrencies essentially give free tokens to their holders for, for whatever reason to kind of help grow the community and, and keep, you know, enthusiasm high. Uh, but this is a fake group, and it says here you can participate in the airdrop by clicking on this link here. Again, don't click on any links. Um, so it just looks like a funky link here, bsc.airdrop.io.emp, all that sort of good stuff. Um, so really, I just want you to do your own due diligence. Don't join any Telegram groups that you don't know about. One thing about Telegram, though, is that and you can, in fact, let me show you, you can change this in the settings. You can get automatically added to Telegram groups by other people. Uh, so scammers can add you, but you can turn that off in the settings. Let me show you. Let me go back to my Telegram. Okay, so here I am and uh, I'm clicking on my, uh, my profile picture, which will take me to my settings. It's at the bottom here of Telegram. And then one of the options I'm presented with is privacy and security. Let me click on that. Then on the right hand side here, it says groups and channels. If I click on that, it says here, who can add me? And uh, you want to select, well, you only get two options, everybody or my contacts. Um, ideally, it'd be nice if there was an option that says nobody, but but there isn't. So my contacts is, is the best one. So essentially, that means only people that you know on Telegram can add you to another Telegram group. So make sure that's selected. I think by default, everybody's selected. Um, so make sure that's selected. Again, we're just doing our... Our due diligence here aren't we okay so let's summarize and what do we accomplish in this video well um as i say a bit of a bit of a, a left turn for a second bit of a, a time out just wanted to talk about security and not falling victim to online scams 
my headline is never reply to unsolicited messages in Telegram. If you ask a question publicly in Telegram, that's fine, but still be careful of private messages that you may receive offering help to your question you just asked. Uh, the only community I'm confident in this that you can 100% trust is this one here that you're already <coughs> a member of. He says getting emotional. Uh, because everybody here has got everybody's back. So if you have any questions, you know, ask them here at any time. So uh, what do you do now? Well, uh, i just like you to write down golden rule number three. I know we've gone through it a few times here in week four, talked about it earlier in this video, but what was it? Again, I really want this stuff to stick in your mind. What was golden rule number three? Golden rule number three. Write it in the comments below. Golden rule number three. It will really serve you well in life. Write it in the comments below. I want you to be safe and protected. That's why. Uh, I've got your back and I know you've got mine and we've all got everybody's, which is why this community is one of the many reasons it's just wonderful. So what is golden rule number three? Please write it in the comments below. Then let's get back to uh, all things passive income. See you in the next video.